Holy shit, when was the last time I played this game? I think it was at least a couple of years ago. Holy shit. I think there was like a... Yeah, here we go. Let us go through the... Age of Empires 2 is about empire building, combat and conflict. We are without a leader. The dead king of Scotland has no heir. War creeps in from I used to the love sun. that they have these stories from the avaricious king of England has returned from successful campaigns to conquer Wales and France. As Longshanks turns his attention to Scotland, the shadow of fear settles across the Highlands. The English have thousands of Welsh longbowmen, hundreds of knights on horseback, and dozens of siege weapons. We Scottish have a rabble of untrained soldiers who do not even know how to march in a straight line. <laughs> we must act soon if we have any chance of resistance. We need to forge an army by any means necessary. Any means necessary. Oh, am I supposed to click? Okay. Whoops. <laughs> oh, my ear is bleeding. Okay. That's not fun. Uh, the English are terrorizing all of Scotland. And it's time for us to fight I have a militia. But if we're to defeat them, every one of us will need to learn how to march and fight. I guess I remember the controls are pretty simple, I think. First, click the soldier. I don't for the life of me remember the uh click near the blue flag. What's it called? Good. Now move to the shirt keys. Click the soldier. Then right click near the flag. I think I remember some of the cheese though. Like there's Robin Hood for gold. The food one was always weird, so I always remember it. It's like cheese cheese steak jimmies or something like that. You have rock on for rock. I think it's just lumberjack for wood. Maybe that's all there is to it. Don't remember that one. It might be the next flag where you'll meet some allied soldiers. To move all your soldiers at once. I know that there's like a cheat to show the whole map. I don't remember that one at all. Then Right click to move. Try moving your soldiers to the next flag. Did all your units move? Maybe it's Marco Polo. Or is that Age of Mythology? I don't know. Scroll up to the outpost building by moving the mouse to the very top of the screen. Then yeah, we'll do all six of the uh right -click the outpost. tutorial levels, if you will. I'm not gonna do this whole game that would take hours on end. The outpost is destroyed. Even though I love this game, so I might I might go back to it later in the future though. The path to the village. Town center Street houses outpost. Some Wait. farms. The English are angry that you destroyed their outpost. They're Ooh. coming to attack your village. Don't panic. I don't know why he's doing that. Just click your I don't have anything connected. Right it's really getting annoying. English soldiers to attack. Defeat the enemy soldiers, and you will have won your first battle. Good job. Destroyed. Now you know how to fight back against the English. <laughs> I mean, kind of. I don't have any villagers or anything. I'm guessing that that we learn that in the next one. Hey, there's a little dude over here, militia. Uh oh, you have to click the menu and click current game. Yes, do you want to click this game? Scotland yes. has soldiers now, if only a few. But if we are to turn back the greed of Edward Longshanks, we will need many more recruits. Much more gold in our coffers. These ancient stones and oaks around us will soon be steeped in the blood of clansmen. Gotcha. An army marches on its stomach. Or so the old saying goes. My clansmen have been farming and tending sheep for hundreds of years, but... Gathering enough food to feed an army is a different matter entirely. Without a strong economy, the meager forces that we've cobbled together will collapse again. Yeah, I guess this is the one that you get to use uh, villagers and find out. Gather 50 wood and 50 food. Okay. To support the Scottish army, you'll need to build up your stockpile of resources. Am I supposed to actually go this thing? Okay. Gather 50 food, 50 wood, and 50 gold. And 50 gold. To gather food from the forage bush, click a village, then right click a forage bush near yeah, the yeah. blue flag. In the status area at the bottom of the screen, you can see how much food the villager is carrying. 
Yeah, right here. The villager continues to gather from the forage bush. I don't know why he went that way. He just couldn't. Yeah, whatever. All right, there we go. I need him to get 50 food, and then I need the to get another villager. will continue working for you, carrying the food to the town center. The amount of food you have is shown in the upper left corner of the screen. In addition to your yeah, so that's wood, oil, that's food, that's gold, that's uh, wood, stone. Gold, Oops, I moved the screen. <laughs> oh, they gave me more villagers. Oh, that's beautiful. The faster you can gather resources, assign your new villagers to gather food. Good, you found some gold. I wonder if it'd be faster to uh, get them to get a lot of food and then create more villagers. Uh, probably, probably. I have a feeling like it would be. Uh, I don't think I ever actually played the tutorial levels. I feel like I was just playing with my uncle like, oh god, 10 years ago. I was just watching him play and then I kind of like, you know, picked it up. Remember when I was young, I would always play with the, uh, I do think it is Marco Polo, Marco Polo cheat. So I could see like all the enemies and what they're doing. <laughs> Which obviously is not how the game is supposed to be played. Uh, so I just need a bit more. That should be good for... Yeah. You can go chop wood. He's already got the 10. You now have 50 food. To win, also gather 50 wood. I think I got enough, right? You got 5, you got 6, yeah. Take a villager, then right click a tree. Okay. If you haven't found any gold yet. Search in the unexplored. Yeah, I already got gold. Excellent. Okay. You now have yeah. enough gold. That should be good enough. You're well on there your go. way to making a city. Yeah, <laughs> I'm the only one here. Show the map. Holy shit. It's just completely bare. I wonder if something's just like chopped all that wood just for fun, just to go around the map. I wouldn't be surprised. All right, let's go on to the next one. Long Shanks, for all his disrepute, has shown military tactics in Wales, England, and France to be very effective. If not cruel and ruthless, he's indeed an enemy to be feared. The English sacked the town of Berwick upon Tweed. Would that I could call it a battle, but it was truly. Well, whoops. I didn't mean to skip that. I'm so sorry. <laughs> God damn it. Scotland and England. I'll take my finger, my hand away from the mouse. This week, Scottish defenders broke ranks and fled. The English have an army that is larger and better trained to compete with. Them. I would 1000% recommend buying this game if you've never tried it before and you find it interesting. There's like a lot of people who play it competitively, or I think it's, yeah. Soldiers. I haven't seen anybody playing it competitively, but there's right there. I'm pretty sure there's a lot of people who do. Train for militia. Gotcha. Do I have to build? We will need many soldiers to defend our homeland. We'll start by creating villagers. Click your town center. Then click the create villager button in the lower left corner of the screen. It takes time for a villager to appear. If your town center is selected, you can see the progress in the status area at the bottom of your screen. Barracks complete. Now you can create soldiers. Click the barracks, then click the create militia button. Good job. The villager has appeared next to your town center. Now, create another village. Selecting different buildings or units gives you different options in the lower left corner of the screen. You need additional housing to support your population. Maybe I don't need to get wood. I don't know Click what the, the end goal here is. Click the build house button. Maybe I'm just doing this for nothing. Where you want to build Good job. Put it inside there. Another house. If more than one villager builds a building, it will go up faster. Yes. Each house supports five units the population indicator at the top of the screen shows your current oh, whoops, support I didn't mean to do that. population other right, buildings are made just like houses try building a barracks the barracks I already built the barracks 
That's one militia you need. None for any more food. Three more, and you'll have enough soldiers to protect this area and win the scenario. Click the barrack. Oh, that's it. You don't have to do more than that. Click the create militia button. Okay, well, three more. Everybody, put your shit in. Make three soldiers. If I don't need anything else, I'm gonna use these villagers to attack to make this go a lot better. You'll be Faster. able to defend this area against English attacks. Oh, I just have to make them? Really? Well, I just I did all that for nothing. Okay, cool. shit. I thought I had to fight some, but okay. I guess I did not need to fight anything. God damn it. Now that we have militias stationed across the border, the English have slowed their raids. But facing Longshank's army will be another matter. The wicked English king has yet to bring his famous longbows to bear. Our militias could only get us so far. We are going to need more advanced weapons. If I remember correctly. Research and technology of the Battle of Sterling, Fortune Lines, the Battle of Fire. Okay, so there's a full battle at the end. Rumors creep in I might make like two Malaysia different videos for this. Because it might be a bit too long. I am currently like <laughs> on my break during my lunch, so I don't have all the time in the world right now to stream. I probably should. I probably should have started after work, but listen. I'm gonna at least like 15 minutes to eat, so I got 45 minutes to do this. A full hour of break, you know. So I'll probably stop in say 20, 25 minutes or so, depending on how long it takes. Okay. Let's get you four. To win, you will need to advance to the feudal age and repel the English raid. You're going to need to research some technologies of your own to increase the- Stop doing that. I don't know what the fuck is doing that, but that's annoying. For example, Researching loom makes your villagers hard to kill. To research loom, there you go. click the town center, then click the research I loom did. button. Good. Researching technology costs resources, but improves your civilization. While you're researching, you can put your villagers to work and use your military units to explore. I need to make two Dark Age buildings. That's what I'm missing. So let me put these in. Let me uh, do this. Let me do. Is this a dark age building? Oh, I need more wood. Oh, crud. Oh, crap. I should have done the wood first day. I just realized that. I'm an idiot. I should have built a. What's it called? Lumber camp first. New technologies and buildings become available when you advance to a new age. Oh, that counts as one, so I just built that for no reason. You need 500 food. All right, can I just... I'm going to restart. I just realized that I, I did something stupid. Yeah, yeah. Okay, let me get Loom. Pull these guys in here. Let's build a... To win? You will need to advance to the fuel age and repel the English I don't know where all the wood is. Whatever, let's just... You're going There's to need to research here. some technologies of your own to increase the strength of your civilization. Yeah, example, here. You three. Researching loom oh, you makes your village over here. Kill. To research loom, click the town center. I already researched, research but thank you for the information. If I remember correctly, I think that you can do like shift and click and it'll like move. You can like choose different places people from. Maybe I don't know. Is it shift? Like the, yeah. Do like this. And you make him go back here. And then he should go in a circle around. There we go. New technologies and buildings become available when you advance. Sorry, I'm getting distracted completely by tape on one of my credit cards. Which I don't know how I got there. Now you have enough food to advance to the feudal age. However, you there also you need two buildings from your current age. Oh. You already have a barracks. So oh, now my, have your villagers to build a mill. The mill is a drop-off point for food, so build it next to your food source. Good. You're on your way to the feudal age. 
To arms! The English are making a sneak attack! Now that the battle is over, create some extra militia units at the barracks to replenish your forces. Nice to give you a lot of food. In to gather in food at forage bushes, villagers can herd sheep or hunt deer for food. I don't know how much more militia they'll send. I don't know how close I am to uh, the feudal age. Oh, it's right there on top of the screen. You're right, right. Uh, yeah, we're close. We're getting close. Uh, I need more food, though. I don't know why I'm ch chopping wood. I don't. Oh my god, I'm stupid. I should be getting food because I need to upgrade. I think I have enough gold. If I don't have enough gold, that's going to be an issue. Okay. This. Upgrading okay. Man at arms will change all your militia units to the more powerful men at arms. Yep. Congratulations! Advancing to the next stage is the best way to improve your civilization. Near the Not minimap at the lower those. right corner of the screen is the idle villager button. Click it. And locate villagers who are not currently assigned to a task. No, they're, they're all killing You sheep. can upgrade your militia to men at arms. Click the barracks, then click upgrade oh, to God. men at arms. The English are attacking again. Teach them a lesson with your new men at arms. I don't know what he's doing. English are no match for your Wait, warriors. Get out. There we go. Okay, that was it. I forgot. I should have probably checked what the man at arms cost. I don't even remember. Where did they come from? They just like got spawned in, I guess. What is this over here? A random militia. Gotcha. Okay. Are uh, you sure you want to kill? Yes. Has invaded, stormed, and sacked the city of Perth. It's worse. He's captured the fabled Stone of Scone and declared himself King of Scotland. If we cannot bring about a victory in Why is my hand so the Scottish weird. armies will be too demoralized to put up any fight at all. Why does this card smell weird? Damn it. It smells like really perfumed for some reason. Like a uh, hand sanitizer perfume. All right, Battle of Sterling. We now prepare for war. The villain Longshanks is poised across the river forth and threaten the town of Stirling with a force of men-at-arms, heavy cavalry, and a multitude of archers. Our newly formed army marches south yeah, to it, establish Yeah, I gotta agree with you, man. And attack the English before it does not look that HD with the definitive edition. I still like the older one, though. I don't know. The new graphics kind of stir me off, but I have to play both anyways. So I'll get to it eventually. The time has come yeah. to take the offensive. Mm -hmm. The English... Near the town of I haven't played this in like if five years though, so here, this is fun. They may think twice about their invasion of Scotland. Scout cavalry are poor fighters, but they can see great distance. You can use your scout cavalry to explore the rest of the map and find the English. To win, destroy the English tower to the west. To the west. Before we attack the English to the west, we need to build up our forces. Have your villagers start gathering food and keep making villagers at your town center until you have 10. The more villagers you have, the faster your resources will come in. I don't even know what the, like I just downloaded, uh, sorry, I just bought it recently. I have no idea what the looks like. like I've, I've played for like a couple of minutes, but other than that, I haven't really played the much. I'm probably more like liking the nos nostalgia from this, mostly. You found some sheep. Sheep are a good source of food, so send them back to your town center hey, sheep. and assign a villager to gather food from them. You can specify a location for new units to gather by selecting a gather point. For villagers, 
Click the town center and click the set gather point button. Okay, so this is where I gotta go. English base. You better not knock down this wall until you've got an army of about 12 soldiers. 12 soldiers? Okay. Use your villagers to build a mill near your forage bushes. I'm literally going through my whole Steam library, so I'm going to be playing every single game that I have that I haven't already completed yet. Like, I'm, I'm just doing the, uh, what is that thing called? I'm just doing the, uh, the first part of this. Or the tutorial, if you will. You can gain more food by building fishing ships. To create fishing ships, have your villagers build a dock in the water to the south. How many we need fishing ships? I think we're like covered by wood, I guess. Okay. So let's just go. Here, you can go destroy that. Good though, let me get food for everybody. Yeah, let's go kill these guys. Okay, I just need 500 food. Get man at arms, and then I'm sure that we can go ahead and. An English outpost! Yes. You know what to do. Knock it down! I know. I'm, I'm getting to it, don't worry. Here, you can go help. Yeah. 
Okay. The English are coming to attack. Oh, I didn't know that they would actually the come to attack. You can use the town bell to garrison them in your town Whoops. center. I didn't think that they would actually come center, to attack. Then click town bell. You defeated the English assault. Have you had villagers in your town center? Ring the town bell again to send them back to work. I don't even know where those guys came from, but okay. They must have just like literally spawned out of nowhere. Whatever. Um, clothes for clothes. We're getting there. have reached the feudal age, concentrate on making some soldiers to fight the enemy. 100 food and for the gold. Remember, you can upgrade your militia to men-at-arms at the barracks. You should always upgrade soldiers when you can afford them. I am now seeing how impatient I am now. After this, uh, okay, whatever. Uh, wood and gold, food and gold, wood and gold. As many as I can. Got okay, two guys here. You should have cut wood while I make soldiers. Another three guys, five of you guys. That's five, five, okay. That's good. You guys can go back, you scout back here. Uh, you guys are gonna build some hot, oh, not enough wood, god damn it. Exploring the map. Yeah, I know. I I have mostly explored the map, my friend. Thank you for reminding me. I could I could do Yeah. Let me move these guys over here. We can build a tower. Right here. Put the guys over here. These guys over here. Now you have a large enough force to attack the English base. Charge! Keep your villagers working just in case you suffer casualties and need to make more troops. Bid here. Kid. Bid here. There you cut wood. I don't actually know how many people there are here. Oh, 
I just sniped them over the edge. Your watchtower will fire on enemy units and help protect your town. Okay. We'll get as many of you guys in here as I can. Should we get after that? Just leave them all out and they die. Wait, is that all? Did I just prepare way too much of a big army for this for no reason? Oh, okay, I see. There's more things over this way. Gotcha. Oh, what the fuck? Are you serious? It just fucking closed on me. God damn it. Alright, I'm gonna stop streaming, but okay, I'll just try again later. Fuck me, okay, that's cool. Oh, what the hell?